Well, hello, Caviar Dreamers. Happy New Year, Caviar Dreamers. Happy New Year. We've been MIA. We have. Do you know why? I think this episode is probably going to be called the COVID Confessionals. It's the COVID Confessionals. Yeah. We, <clears throat> I'm still coughing a little, were all diagnosed with COVID yeah. the week before Christmas. Yes, it wasn't the best. The 19th of December, I fell, fell hard. But shortly I after st- March Senior. March Senior had it. I started getting symptoms, though I tested negative. I didn't test positive till December 23rd. Joe also tested positive then. We had, <coughs> see, I'm still coughing a little, residuals. But I just want everyone to know I already tested negative. Me too. I tested negative New Year's Eve, thank goodness. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, that was not really the COVID, the cozy little Christmas we are looking for. We got a COVID little Christmas. Yes, and I just want everyone to know. I, I got some backlash because I ate in some uh, restaurant. I persisted to eat outside. I have not been in large groups. Everybody I've been with, we make sure we get tested. And obviously that doesn't make a difference because I have no idea where we got the COVID. And it went through my house like a house on fire. All my kids were, um, my stepkids were home. My son was home, who I don't really talk about. They had to evacuate the premises. Um, One of our kids got it. The other two, the boys did not get it. But they, my son spent Christmas alone in a hotel in New York City uh, ordering food. We could not have it together. Joe and I were alone in the bed with the dog it was disheartening and depressing. Um, I didn't want to chant, you know, I had weird COVID guilt. I was like, what did I do to get this? I thought I was being responsible. I was wearing my mask out. It, um, it's a weird, it's thing, a weird thing. It's a weird thing. You have COVID guilt also. And, and I feel like also shame because then the phone calls start who do you think you got it from? Well, where did you get it from? Well, who were you with? What did you do? And then you feel like, oh my God, maybe I made a mistake. Maybe there was a moment I didn't wash my hands. Maybe I didn't wear my mask. Maybe I did something irresponsible. And then you start to think of all the places you've been and all the people you have to call and it's the holidays. It it was rough. Thankfully, I will say we're all back on the mend, feeling healthy. We're hoping there's not too many residuals. You don't really know. We're starting to get back to normal. Thankfully, Nino didn't get it. Yes, thank God. Little Nino did not get the COVID. But that wasn't ideal. Shipping my two-year-old up to my in-laws the week before Christmas. My stepkids couldn't come to me. It was our year this year, so no kids for Christmas for me I know. Marge Sr., I just want to say, I was very worried about Marge Sr. She was the least affected Took it like a champ. Mm-hmm. I say she's peasant stock. I don't know what it is. Yeah, she's a tough, tough girl. D- much tougher than her daughter, I just want to add in. Um, <laughs> you and Joe got it bad. <clears throat> Joe and I got it the worst out of our entire crew. Marlene has recovered like a champ as well. My husband was vaccinated because he is a frontline worker. So thankfully he'd had the vaccine a week before, but he hadn't had the booster. So luckily he had his booster shot today. Um, so he was able to be home and take care of me while well, Nina was at my in-laws. Um, and so that's ho- good hope for the vaccine. That's very hopeful. Yes, I agree. And you know, this isn't something you want to get and people who poo poo it and are ridiculous because everybody gets it differently. I was re- so relieved that Marge Singer had a mild case. Lexi was sick for a few days. Joe and I, 17 days, literally didn't do well. He actually had to go to the hospital. He had 104 fever. Luckily, we live right around the corner from one and he got an antigen. He didn't get the remdesivir, but he got an antibody that made him better. Uh, But he was getting fevers for seven or eight days. We didn't really get sick till like the seventh day. At first I was like, oh, this isn't so bad. I don't feel so horrible. Day seven, kicked our ass. We were so sick. Luckily, it never went into our Mm -hmm. chest. Even though I have a cough, it's more of a post-nasal drip. But this is very scary, and I want people to take it seriously. 
And also don't go by anyone else's symptoms. That's the one thing I've learned. Yes. Or don't go by anyone else's. Well, I'm still testing negative. Well, you're, uh, you tested positive. Now maybe I escaped it. Now you probably didn't escape it. You should just self-isolate. Be really careful because at the timelines make no sense. Who you saw, when you saw them. It's true they tested, because tested. I just want you to know, Marge Singer tested positive. Lexi tested positive. I went the same day as Lexi. You were there at the same time as me. At the same time. I had already tested negative with a PCR and then a tested negative with a rapid test. But I was not feeling great. I was like, oh, it must just be a sinus infection. That's what it is. And I tested negative twice. Two days later, I tested positive. So you can, you know, have some symptoms and it, it might not be full blown in your body and you could be spreading. I stayed home. I didn't see anybody. Thank God. I isolated away from my family. Just Joe and I decided to stay together because we'd already been sleeping together. But it was, it was rough and it's, you, you know, it also fucks with your head. Just so you know, people, Yeah, I, I was having crazy you. thoughts. I was like reevaluating my life, having deep discussion. I was like, do I want to live here? Do I want to stay in New Jersey? What kind of life is this? I'm going to pack all my bags, Joe. We're going to move away. We're going to sell everything. We're going to go live in the islands. I'm going to do yoga. I'm not going to wear makeup. I'm never going to let my roots grow in, but whoa, <laughs> whoa. whoa. I, I, you were sicker than I thought. You were much sicker than I thought. You're not going to wear makeup and you're going to do yoga? Yeah. I was like, what is, what life is this? Is Ooh. this, it's, it makes you think, cra you know, crazy thoughts. You, you reevaluate your life. You realize what's important. You know, listen, do I think I was going to die? No. But did I have like, I'm stuck on the couch. I'm not spending the holidays with my family. I had ordered this beautiful dinner. My kids were all home and my kids all had to leave. My daughter, I had to fly back to California, my stepdaughter. My son had to go stay in a hotel and be by himself and order in from a restaurant. His girlfriend had already left. My other son had to go back and leave because we didn't want anyone to get it. It was so disheartening. I'm, just, you know, no one opened presents on Christmas. All their presents were here under the tree. I had to ship them all their gifts. Um, it was a really weird, sad feeling. New Year, you know, every all my friends, I just want to say, were so generous, dropping off matzo ball soup, wonton soup. People were sending me flowers. Um, friends that I met through the show had sent gifts. Everybody was calling, was so worried. But I was like, this you know, this, this is scary. We're living through something very, very scary. And people, you know, I understand you have to live your life and do everything, but for the sake of, you don't want to fucking get this and you don't want no. to give this to someone else because it is frightening. No, I think, and we've been very careful. We have always worn our masks. We've always been super careful. We've mm -hmm. always taken regular tests. We've always washed our hands. We've always tried to stay in as small groups as possible, eat outside. But it just goes to show that even if you are careful, we all know that you hate going to the supermarket. Nothing is worse for me than going to the supermarket. I just hate running up and down the aisles. I stay there way too long. So someone sending me meals to make is the best thing ever. Well, especially because you have a new kitchen, so now yeah. you can really See, enjoy it. Yeah, I happen to love to cook. You just I just to shop. I just don't like to shop. Well, Green Chef is perfect for you. It yes. really is because the meals come that it's the first USDA certified organic meal kit and the meals come already prepped in the little bags, portioned out. They have so many options, keto, um, like vegan, vegetarian, paleo, all sorts, all that you can choose from. You know what? I was so excited when someone sent me Green Chef and I got it because I was like, this is like the best thing ever. So now I've been wondering. It was easily portioned out. Joe and I weren't overeating because I constantly overcook. So this is yes. perfect for me. It's, it's satisfying. It's easy to do. It's, it's not a big deal. The recipes are easy. They're delicious. They're flavorful. I, you know, it's like a flavor burst. I just love it so much. So I was happy. And then I don't have to freaking go to the supermarket because I hate it. Oh, it's so annoying going to the supermarket. I find it hard to like think of what to cook. Like if it was, you know, my house would eat the same thing every day, all day, because I don't have the imagination. 
Green Chef is amazing. You could choose your recipe, so then you you have like sites and things to serve every night. You feel really like a chef. No, absolutely. And they even have plant based stuff. And some, you know, sometimes I want to eat a little different, be a little more vegetarian. Yes. Every night, I don't want to eat meat, and I'm sick of chicken. So you don't have to get chicken all chicken. the time. I mean, not that chicken's not good, but they have pork, they have fish. They have yeah. so many different things and plant-based, which I love. Oh my, they had an amazing stuffed pepper that I made. And even Nino. Nino loves a good <clears> stuffed <throat> pepper. Who doesn't love a good Who stuffed doesn't? pepper? So for our listeners, you can go to greenchef.com forward slash caviar nine zero and use caviar nine zero to get $90 off, including free shipping. So go to greenchef.com forward slash caviar 90 and use code caviar 90 to get $90 off, including 90. free shipping. $90 off. That's a lot. Yeah. It's the number one meal kit for eating well. So go everyone. Yes. Oh, and go. I just want to say also, it's owned by HelloFresh, which is another brand that we love. So now you could switch between both brands. You can always get a discount with us. So that's great. Who doesn't love a discount? Keep cooking, dreamers. Keep cooking. It was a funny one. It was my 40th birthday on Christmas Day. Yes, so it's Lexi's 40th birthday. The dress that I had bought to wear for um, my 40th birthday, on Chris I was going to wear Christmas Eve with my family. Just It was literally just me, my in yes. and the kids, supposedly. But it was actually just me, really. With uh, Thankfully, Brian and Nino did come home, and they sat across the table for me, and we wore masks. Um, but, yeah... I, the dress is still hanging there because then we were like, maybe I'll wear it by New Year's Eve. Maybe we could do something that, nope, not better by New Year's Eve. So all my kids' outfits to go to church on Christmas were, are all still laying there, not worn. They're matching outfits. Very strange year this year, but we survived. Yes, we did survive. So now, I, and I also got I my mean, period. So for my birthday this year, for my 40th birthday, I got COVID in my period. What a lucky I mean, girl I was. Seriously? It's just, I'm just happy 2020 is behind us. But I just want to say this to everybody. Um, you know, people always comment on my photos, why don't you have your mask on? Why don't you have this? When I do a photo, I take my mask off. I try not to be with a lot of people. I haven't been in large groups. We managed to film a whole season without not one person getting COVID. Yes. Everybody was so super responsible during our season. Um, we had, we did have some gatherings. Everybody had to be tested prior to the gathering. Everybody had to show up with a negative test. Um, you know, we tried to be careful. We tried to do everything possible and we, and we managed to get through. And I said, I managed to get through an entire season of housewives without having COVID. Everybody was so super careful. And yes. I was with more people then and we and we were doing everything and i feel like because we were outside and you know you weren't it wasn't cold out and you know and now i purposely even in the winter it's like you eat outside in a tent with the with the sides open i eat in a coat i'm trying not to go out and i and i was just trying to be careful and keep my pod so small i think personally it was worse once like they did close restaurants and things because I think people went to each of these houses where you just naturally your guard is down you follow the rules in a structured environment more because you wear your mask so they take your temperature they do the contract tasting where when you go to someone else's house and they say oh don't worry we're being really careful and you say well we are too I think that you drop your guard naturally so I do think there is more of a household spread than there is in restaurants and stuff. So I feel, I feel very sad for the restaurant industry that I do too. And so I'm bad. so, and I'm so sad about it. And I still don't know where we got it. It's so bizarre. Yeah. It is, it is so bizarre because my entire family got it and we cannot figure out what happened. I mean, there was a moment I thought I know, knew who the super spreader was and I wish that they got coal in their stocking, but then it, did, it really didn't, I don't think it was that person after no, all. No, I mean, we were in the so car. Even I'm mean about the COVID, shaming someone and Yeah, you cannot them. shame somebody. I mean, if someone's blatantly being disrespectful, not yes. wearing their mask, not following guidelines, it's very upsetting. Yes, that is not right. But if everybody's doing the right thing, you could still get it. Yes. It's I wore scary. my mask. When I went and sat outside a restaurant, I wore my mask to the table. Did I take it off the table? Absolutely. Um, 
you know, so I can eat. I have, I, I even hate going to the supermarket. I'm not a supermarket person. No. I don't like to do that. I have been very, very careful. I mean, I'm not someone who gets sick regularly. I've never had the flu. Not no, that I want to jinx myself good. now that I'm going to get the flu. Um, well, we're all going to get the vaccines. And I think That's it's super important. important to get the vaccine. And anybody who's saying it's like, I don't want to be forced to get a vaccine. I don't want it to be mandatory. Guess what? I've been to Africa. My husband's been to Africa. People have traveled out of the country. You have to get the malaria shot. You have to get things to go to other countries so you don't get sick there. No one balks if you're going on vacation and you have to get a vaccine to go to another country. Well, it's like, I always think this is yeah. funny. I'm always afraid of like having a surgery, but I didn't complain when I wanted plastic surgery to fix my nose because yeah. it was for vanity. So when things are for vanity or for fun or, you know, like people you do it, you do it and you don't question it because it's something yes. you want to do. And I think, so, I yeah, think this and this is out that, of respect, like get the res the vaccine for people who can't because people who are immunocompromised yes. have had anaphylactic shock have issues, maybe they can't get the vaccines. If everyone else does, then maybe they won't. All these healthcare come. workers have gotten the vaccines already. I think that's, you know, amazing that they're, they're worried about protecting us. Um, and, and I think it's, it's super important. I'm putting Joe on the list right away because he, you know, he is older than the Marge. Marge senior already got on the list. Yeah. And I, and I think it's great. And I'm going to get the vaccine. And that's what I'm saying. It's just like people who are saying they don't want to get the vaccine. We can't be forced. Guess what? It's important. We're, we're in a life crisis. We're in a very, very rare situation. Um, no one knows how this is going to affect them. That's what I'm saying. Marge Singer, who's in her 70s, skated through this like a champ. I had it worse than she did. Mm. It didn't go into my chest. But guess what? My husband had to be rushed to the hospital with 104 fever. And they had to put him on an IV drip. It's, and and it's scary. Know. And you don't know what's going to happen. I mean, that poor that poor congressman, was he a senator or congressman? Congressman-elect. Congressman-elect, congressman 41, congressman 41 years old, died. You don't know what's going to happen. And you don't know and who it's going to affect. Everyone says, well, Adam, don't, you don't know what's going to happen from the vaccine. Well, at this point, you don't know what's going to happen from the COVID. So either way, just do the right thing. Try, you know, put a mask on and do the right thing. It's, it's been crazy. I mean, the, the only, I, at first I was like, oh God, this is awful. I feel like I'm going to die. Then it became like the weird phases of the COVID quarantine. First I was like, God, this is awful. The bones is like the worst hang. Mine was weird. Mine was like a hangover. It was like mm -hmm. in my bones. And I was shaking so much that my teeth were chattering and I didn't really cough a lot. And I never had a fever. Common misconception of the COVID. Mm -hmm. People think you yes. have to have a fever. No. I never had a fever. You don't. I had a Not fever for only one day. So it's very strange. So the first day I thought I was going to die. Second day I was, I knew I wasn't going to die. I was fine. Third day I was like, all right, maybe I could work up to actually staying awake and watching a TV show. Then I was like, oh, okay. By the fourth day, maybe this is a cute little snow day. By the fifth day, I was like, oh my God, this is awful. I'm stuck in my house. It's the holidays. I can't see my family. I started to feel like you reevaluate all the things that were important to me. I wasn't with Nino, which is awful. Spending yes. any time away from you, kid, is horrible. Um, but then I thought about, I had a lot, I had a, like a moment of clarity where I was like, oh my God, I'm going to cry thinking about this. There's some nurses that have not hugged their children properly, COVID nurses, I know. for a really long time. Yes, we have to be grateful for the healthcare workers. Yeah, I, I mean, know. grateful for health when you have it, be grateful for your family. Yeah, like, that's the way I feel. It's like this, I will say this one thing that COVID gave me, it's not, and listen, I was far from the brink of death. I'm not saying that at all. And people have had it much worse than me. But listen, my husband, Joe, was very, very sick. It's scary. I was scared. He's you know, even though he looks, he looks, you know, good and everything else. He's not that young. And he, he's had pneumonia numerous times before. And, mm -hmm. I, and we aged him a lot with the renovations. Yes. Yeah, so I've aged him with the renovations, which yeah. you guys are going to get to see. But I, I was worried and I was like, you know what, this, this is scary. And I, and I want everyone to be, be healthy. And we, we have to be grateful, you know, just for our health and, and take care of each other and be nicer to each other and not shame everybody and just educate each other. Yeah. Um, come from a good place. Yeah. Come from a good place. Not like, you know, the, we, 
you can't be the mask police. It's, we have to tell people to wear masks. We have to tell people to be responsible, but not from a vicious place, from a place of teaching each other because it's not helpful. And I want everybody to wear their mask and I want everybody to be responsible. But the most important thing is everybody get the fucking vaccine. Yeah, I think so. You know what? Because how are we going to get rid of this shit? And then we could get back to their life instead of just watching And enjoy each other because I have nothing. We could get back to making TV shows instead of watching them. Yeah, I have nothing else to watch. I'm like bored out of my freaking head. What did you watch? I watched the entire season of Bridgerton. I only got two episode two, but I'm going to finish it. I watched Bridgerton. I <laughs> I don't even remember else what I oh, watched. Oh, the Queen's Gambit. The Queen's Gambit Nailed was on, that. but that wasn't, but that wasn't during my COVID situation. I finished that in COVID. Um, I watched Bridgerton during COVID. I watched um, some crazy show on Leftovers during COVID, which oh, I was obsessed you tell with. Me, that that now could be my new favorite show. I got big into the cooking. I watched all of the British oh, Bake Off. I watched. Yeah, I love the cooking. I'm obsessed with the cooking. Um. I also watched, what else? Oh, Crazy Dr. Foster, Dark, Dark. Ooh. Uh, it, it gets cheated on, the wife, everybody unravels, very crazy. I mean, people's brains were really unraveling in that show. Uh, oh, I watched Escape to the Chateau because now it's yes. finally streaming on Peacock. Escape to the Chateau, streaming on Peacock, fabulous. You guys must watch that. That's so amazing. good. That's a reality show that I've watched in England whenever I was home. And it's a couple that buy a French chateau with 45 rooms that is falling down and they have no budget and they have to do it all themselves. And it's one of the most inspiring, creative, jolly, fun, amazing shows. And I have a big crush on Dick Strawbridge. Uh, Dick, Dick Strawbridge. He has a lot yeah. of facial hair, Dick. He's a big, he's a big burly man and I love him. <clears throat> Ooh, you like him big, Ooh, and, I burly. Like him big and burly. I know. I feel like Joe and I are kind of dick and angel. I thought when I, I told you when I came back from England and I've been watching it, I said to you guys, this should be you guys. This is you, Escape to the Chateau. Escape to the Chateau, where I escaped to the. Because Dick is very capable and he could fix any problem. And Angel's very creative and she doesn't really care how he fixes the problem or what he does. I think to that's do it. true. She that's just true. Wants him I, just, I just want Joe to do it. That's I think too. that's true. All right, so I just want everyone to know. It's like I didn't want to chronicle our COVIDness. Well, we also didn't want to take <coughs> down everyone's yeah, I don't want to talk about social everyone's, media. Yeah, I don't like, want to talk about it on the holidays. Merry Who Christmas, wants, Merry, happy COVID. Yeah, I don't want everyone like, oh, Marge, did I, you know, don't focus on me during your holidays and, and my COVID chronicles of me like, you know, I can't smell, I can't taste. I'm, oh, yeah, I do want to touch on that really yes. quickly because that was weird. My smell went like someone turned on turn off the light. Just like that, I couldn't smell. I know, me too. Smell and taste went first. I got it back, though my taste is only 70% back, I would say, you know, the way I love to eat. Also, I just want to say something really gross. Um, I always had control over my bladder, but now when I cough a lot, I pee. That's been that I pee myself. I never had that time. before. I always felt very proud of myself that I didn't pee myself. Um, but now I could be peeing myself, so... Can we pee yourself right now? I could, yeah. So when I cough a lot, now I pee. Not a good, not a good look. So I really want this cough to go away. Yeah, so I just want everyone to know we're COVID negative. The COVID queens are negative. I want yes. everybody to be healthy. Stay healthy. Please stay safe. Um, we've come out of it the other side. Everybody's not as lucky as us. Mm-hmm. So I want everybody to really um, get the vaccine. And that's it. And I just yes, want you to know care. where we are. And we'll start back with guests and do positive things, but just want you to know why we were off the grid and yes. and where we were. And I hope everyone had an amazing holiday and happy new year. And thank God 2021 is here. That's it. Even though I think we should just sort of remind ourselves that it's not going to get better right away. We shouldn't put too much pressure on 2021. Yes. Just enjoy, make small goals. Reach towards little mm-hmm. dreams. Do what you could do. Be happy. Smile. Be thankful exactly. for waking up. And just I agree. Go for it. I agree. You know, my my goals of even though I had very big dreams and big goals and a, and a lot of things that you know what I have to as Joe said um you know we have a new standard. Hey, we're not in the hospital. I said <laughs> I said all right, Joe. You know what I'm going with that. And we'll be back next week with some great guests. Yes, you can find us every Wednesday. 
at Caviar Dreams Tuna Fish Fudge on Instagram, on YouTube, The Real Michael Joseph, The Life of Mrs. B, COVID Free Queens. COVID Free Queens. All right, guys. Keep dreaming, Caviar Dreamers. Keep dreaming.